my little Shefris. Yeah, you keep him crumpled company, aren't you? So here's the beginning of my first inaugural attempt at uh, muffin meatloaf. I intend to make a meatloaf recipe that I'm sort of taking different prompts from different places. And uh, I'm going to kind of kind of combine a few suggestions and tips, make my own sauce, and put them in meatloaf, uh, in uh, muffin pans. And because and, I always like the edges of the meatloaf, so why not do more of that? So here we go. Eggs will be the best. Now that, and Carla says you got to make two pounds, but I think I'm going to start with a one pound recipe and see how, see how it rolls. So eggs and uh, breadcrumbs, Carla says you should just use crackers, but everything I read says eggs and breadcrumbs are necessary to, to provide a, what they call binding agents so the meatloaf doesn't fall apart. And that's going to be important because I'm going to be adding green pepper and uh, organic black beans uh, and a little paste for moisture. So it may have, I may have some challenge in keeping it together, so I, I think the binder, binders will be important. Um, we don't have, we only got 1% milk, so I'm going to use half and half. Um, milk is also a binding agent, they say. So so three binders. Um, and uh, and there you go. I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to use barbecue sauce and uh, spicy ketchup and turn that into a glaze. And um, we'll see how it goes. There's the plan. There's the baby that's going to supervise. Uh, hello, baby. Hello. Yeah. Well, okay. Yes, I know. Are you talking? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Good fire. Good fire. Good fire. What are we talking? Well, your eyes are a little runny. You're not crying. What's going on? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's one of my fire, Papa. Yeah. So, there it is. I think I should have probably planned on putting this in the mixer a little. I... Yeah, I don't know. I may have should put it in a mixing bowl. We're gonna have to see how that rolls. But there's all the ingredients. I bagged the tomato paste. Man, the recipes using it don't put very much in. I don't feel like opening a thing of tomato paste for nothing. I'll probably put a little uh, ketchup in there and call it. Or better yet, I'll put some tomatoes in there. Yeah, yeah, I'll put some real tomatoes in there. So, uh, so there you go. The story continues. Well, here you go. It's all mixed up. My I just used a fork. My little chef, uh, my little chef is, a, well, actually her milk is getting warmed up. We're, we're thinking that she's hungry and she was starting to fuss. She's been, she's been just cooing and having a good old time talking to me, but Carla got back up from her nap and, and baby started crying. So baby's getting changed and, uh, and we're going to feed her. Um, and these are, are, are oiled up and those are ready. So, uh, here we go. Stage two or three. Okay, step four. I've I've set uh, I suppose it's about half the meat into those, and again this is only one pound. Um, I've made a little depression in each of them to to kind of hold um, what will be my sauce, and there is that's about half barbecue and half uh, looks like it's more barbecue because of, some of the barbecue is is over the top of the spicy ketchup. But that's about half and half. And um, so we're going to turn that into the glaze. Here we go. I'm into the oven. It's now preheated. And they're in. Uh, that one's in a few minutes ahead of that one. And that one only had enough room for five. Um, I just got a temperature problem there. I think they're going to cook really fast. And I elected not to glaze these. I'm going to glaze those as I started. I'm going to try these and glaze um, just before they get done. I, I hope we'll see. I'm going to cook till those are done. Pull them out, and then they'll be about five minutes behind them, and that's when I'm going to glaze these. So we'll see what we see. Yeah, so you keeping me company in the office. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. The happy little girl. So, the uh, meal around one, phase one, is complete. It is now resting for, I'm going to let it rest for five minutes. It should probably go for more like seven, but we'll, we'll let it sit for five, and I don't want it to get too cool. Glaze is okay. I put a I put the second uh, Part B glaze, which has got a couple more minutes left in it. Um, I put uh, some tomato paste in to thicken it up, and then I, I uh, put a second coating on this one. Um, we'll see about the taste preference one way or the other, but it, it certainly... Looks like the glaze has worked. And again, we're getting very close to the other one being done. It probably is done. But uh, there you go. That's what they look like. And uh, Kaka's made some, uh, well, 
cock is microwaved some Bob Evans potatoes, but nonetheless, uh, dinner's shaping up nicely, and I'm gonna go back to playing with baby here in the office. So, hi, baby. Hi, baby. Look at you kicking. Yeah, it's good to be active. We're being active. I, do. I think you're right. Cough, cough. Cough, cough. Oh, it's a cough. Yeah. So, early feedback. Uh, the glaze has worked out great. I really like the, the, the flavor of the glaze. Um, yeah, you have to accept that I put the brown beans in to, to uh, make it a little bit healthier and put, put some uh, alternative proteins in it. I think it's fine. I think it needs a little bit more flavoring. I went very gentle on, well, I put no additional pepper in it. I put a little bit of Italian seasoning in it. Um, very little salt, you know, half teaspoon, this kind of stuff. So, so gentle, gentle on seasonings. I'm going to up the uh, couple of flavor touches in it. The binding agents worked great. They come out whole, hold good, uh, taste good, cooked good. Not a darn thing wrong with it, but is certainly for, for a first round, it's just fine. But, you know, um, a little more pepper, a little more uh, garlic salt, and, um, uh, you know, next time I do it, I'll probably start measuring ingredients a little bit instead of a pinch of this, a pinch of that, and, and start tuning things in. So there's the result. There's the results. Do uh, you think so too? Do you think so too? Yeah. Yeah. Puppy loves her. Huh? Are you on film? It's your first acting role. It's your first acting role. 